Hey guys, before we start the vlog today, I just wanted to pop in here and address something that I had mentioned on my Twitter earlier today. I just wanted to say, and I don't know if a lot of you even notice, but we skipped today and we haven't done that I think since like February so it was kind of a big deal for us but I don't know how many of you guys noticed that but normally we try to post on um, Monday Wednesday Friday sometimes it comes out later but never have we not posted those three videos in one week and last Friday we didn't post anything and I didn't make it up by posting on Saturday or Sunday and here we are on Tuesday technically missing our Monday upload but this is counting as like our Monday um, for our three days a week but we entirely skipped that third one last week so I just wanted to pop in here and just kind of like say that and I I, I don't know I have mixed feelings because one I doubt anybody noticed and two it's just like we don't we don't have that commitment I make that commitment to myself but like I don't tell you guys that our posting schedule is Monday Wednesday Friday expect a new video or anything like that and kind of the reason why that happened was mostly just because a lot has been going on lately as you guys have seen in our vlogs we've been traveling we were in Kansas for two weeks three weekends and so that was a lot we traveled back we're back home in Indiana now but we traveled back on Sunday and so that kind of set us back I've been working every single weekend and just a lot has been going on that we don't always show in the vlogs and honestly I'm not going to talk about everything that's been happening because there's a reason they aren't in the vlogs and we like to keep the vlogs always positive like always like just like things are happening like hunky dory like everything's perfect but honestly life isn't that way and I just want to address it really quick without saying anything because I'm not gonna like tell my things to the internet but just know you only see like 10 minute videos every other day on YouTube and that's it so three times a week you see maybe 30 minutes of footage and that's it so just know that we appreciate your guys's views we want you to stay here we are so thankful for the like 120 followers subscribers we have and we are bummed that we missed that upload last Friday I am really bummed that I didn't I didn't make that upload on Friday and I just want you guys to know that we appreciate you and I'm so glad you're here watching our videos and I am so sorry that I missed you guys on Friday and just life happens and always know that life is going on even when our vlogs are always happy something else is bound and determined to be happening in the background that we don't talk about but anyways I this vlog is not a downer vlog whatsoever it's a very happy very smiley vlog and I didn't mean to bring the mood down at all I just wanted to let you guys know that we we missed you on Friday we appreciate you being here so let's just jump right into the video hello guys starting the vlog again from the car today we are out at Salina Kansas running some errands to town not too far from Trevor's hometown so we had to first drop off a whole bunch of aluminum cans so we did that got some money how much money did we get a lot <laughs> we did, we did. i mean i'm pretty sure that the government's gonna come for at least half of it so <laughs> we didn't get a lot of money i think what seven bucks hey hey don't but we are helping the environment don't with our flaunt cans. our finances okay <laughs> So we did that and now we are at sports clips. Trevor's gonna get his hair cut. He has a wedding he has to be in this weekend So got to get him looking sharp and then after that we're just gonna go out to dinner yep. right? Kappa. So we're just getting ready for his wedding this weekend mostly just kind of hanging out a little bit of a date night today It is Thursday, isn't it? Yeah, so Thursday's our date night anyways, so date night. we're doing date night Fine. Yeah, you do. Mm. Mm. Turn, turn your head. Turn your head. Look at that. Oh, oh, baby, fresh haircut. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> so we got his haircut. We've been slowly trying to do something a little bit different. Every time we go in there, we tell them he wants it long on the top and short on the sides because we're trying to do like more of like a you know like a swoop thing, right? And every time we like go in the there, Nike switch. Every time we go in there, they cut his top and like. We're getting closer and closer. Every time they go, they cut it. But every time I grow, it like grows more. So they cut less and less and less each time. But next time, you just need to tell them like, 
don't cut the top at all period none zip but we're, he looks good it looks really nice on the sides I like it when it's not on your ears but now he's covered in hair and royally uncomfortable and I'm gonna take him out to dinner even though he doesn't feel good like he's uncomfortable and itchy you have anything you need to say um spay and neuter your pets you're welcome okay we are home now and we are actually getting ready to go play some tennis so we're loading up our water bottle here my big 64 ounce yeti with lots of water and ice. And Dado gets a Dado gets an ice cube. Good girl. <laughs> and Grizzle gets an ice cube. Grizzle won't care. He just bats it off. Yeah. So we are gonna go play tennis. We have been working out just about every day for the past three days. It's been really good. Us getting our Apple Watches has been really good for health mm -hmm. and everything like that. I already had one, but I wasn't using it as much. But now that I have Trevor here motivating me, I'm using it a lot more. And we're in a competition. Yes, so that's been keeping us going. Who's winning right now? Trevor. He's winning by like 20 points. It's on. Like, don't count. It's on. <laughs> impressive it was that the guys were the ones setting up the wedding reception area like that's awesome but I just wanted to pop in here and fill you in a little bit because I think we kind of missed like saying anything really about this wedding so this is the wedding for Mark and Becky Mark was Trevor's best man in our wedding and so he was in his wedding and they've been friends since like elementary school really young they grew up together everything like that so we were there for them I filmed their wedding and so I have a couple of clips that I'm gonna insert from like me filming the day I, it's not their wedding video like whatsoever at all but I did want to put in Trevor's speech so that you guys could like see his speech he gave about Mark and Becky and everything like that so yeah that's whose wedding this is we were there basically with them all day Trevor was with the guys doing whatever they needed to do and then I was with Becky filming her getting ready filming the whole ceremony just working the wedding wedding like I normally do with Ling videography but I guess that's really all I needed to say I just was like watching these clips back and realized that like yeah you can tell we're setting up a wedding but like you don't we didn't really say anything about it at all so yeah this is Mark and Becky's wedding.
Thank you for the number one. Projection. I've known Mark since first grade. Um, we're close to it. And um, some memories that I remember about Mark is that we used to play in his treehouse. He had the best treehouse in town. And I also remember all the times we played like basketball in my front yard. Also, sleepovers at his house involved NFL Street. So, Mark is an easy guy to get along with, and he kind of he makes you feel like you're the most important person in the room. And I know this because Mark does anything for you, but he won't, he won't like, want your apology, or he won't want you to thank him, but he'll go out of his way and do anything for you. Mark, needless to say, has kept me out of more trouble than I've been in, so thank you for that. The biggest thing about Mark is he's a very loyal friend, and he's a very honest friend. Um, he'll tell you what he thinks, no matter what you want to hear, which is good to come from, you know, best friend. And I think that's the reason why you and Becky work so well, is that you're honest with each other, no matter how weird it gets, Becky. <laughs> and I think that both of you together are going to be great for the years to come. So, cheers to Mark and Ben.